Summer League is literally the funniest part of the NBA season. It's always funny when folks' favorite draft pick get high and then they like overhyping them, overrating them. Then we gotta like, you know, let them know that it's only a Summer League, you know. Ain't Kuzma go off in the Summer League and where he at now? Anyways, we gotta talk about Hornets Summer League ball now that it's over. And there's really only three players to talk about, honestly. Ignoring what all the jello stands say, Book Knight had a good summer league overall. Most of his games were solid, but the one that I knew that he was a real stud was the San Antonio game. He started out cold, but he ain't get down on himself. He started heating up in the second quarter. Really, after that, he was unstoppable. He even made some clutch buckets, and I think that was his best playmaking game like out of the whole summer league. The only reason why we ain't gonna remember this is because first, it's summer league, and like second, he kind of got shown up by Trey Jones. But really, the only horrendous game I can think about is the game against the Kings when he got shut down by Davian Mitchell. Off night made Book Knight have an off night. I guess the most frustrating thing about that is that he was obviously getting shut down but he was trying to shoot his way out of that slump and he was taken away from his teammates. That's one thing that he got to work on especially if he's going to be running with Melo. But yeah overall decent summer league. Kai Jones when they got him from the Knicks I thought that was a steal like they got the two guys that I had wanted to see on the team, and I think he's going to be good for, like, team chemistry, you know? But I wasn't really impressed with what I saw from him at the Summer League. He robbed up. Like, I was kind of expecting that heading into Summer League. He ain't a jack-of-all-trades, master of none. He just a jack that is a master of nothing. I really want to see him at the center position. Plumley better, but I feel like Plumley like a made man. Like, that's as good as he's going to be. I just feel like Kai Jones got more ability than Mason Plumley, and he could be better if he developed right. And that's really what I would say about Jones. He a project. Like, he ain't going to be good right off the bat. It's going to take him um, three, four years to develop him into a, a decent big man. Last guy we got to talk about is Jello. I don't really got a big opinion on him because I don't really keep up with the Ball Brothers. I ain't really know much about his game, like, going into this summer league. I think LeVar said he's going to be the best Ball brother which i don't know that's kind of hard to believe i saw lamello last year like i don't know he a really good shooter like i know he could handle the ball but i think that his best role in the nba is like a spot of shooter that can get high and he gonna be getting passes from lamello I know that he can go to any team, but I want to see him on the Hornets this season. I think he could be valuable to the roster, but even if he ends up being a bust, like, they can't pass up that marketing opportunity. But yeah, that's how I felt about Hornets Summer League. Bye. Some way, some way, some way.